Cluster sampling is a type of probabilistic sampling that only works as probabilistic sampling as long as an important assumption holds true when we conduct it. Let me show you what I mean. In this example of cluster sampling, we divide the population into groups. In this case, our argument that we're making is that each one of the groups is a good, fair representation of the total overall population. So if we think about San Diego County and these five potential clusters around the University in El Cajon area, that's D, La Jolla A, Ocean Beach B, North Park area in C, and the Chula Vista area E, this particular researcher is making the assumption that each one of these clusters is a fair representative uh, sample of the entire San Diego region. If that assumption is true, this researcher wouldn't have to drive all around San Diego County knocking on doors to collect data, but rather they could just go into any one of these clusters, sample within that cluster, which of course would save time, money, and effort for knocking on doors and collecting data, and then generalize those results to all of San Diego County. So now the question is, are these clusters indeed fair representative samples of the entire population they intend to study? For those of you familiar with San Diego County, you know that's unlikely to be the case. In fact, we can quickly ascertain that by glancing at some data that was generated from a Simply Analytics custom report in 2018. Notice that the median household income in San Diego County is $78,000. In La Jolla, though, it's nearly $130,000, where in college area, it's 50, about $52,000. Major differences here. Neither La Jolla nor college area, area itself is likely to be a good representative of San Diego County. In this particular instance of illustrating the idea of cluster sampling, this cluster sampling would be a bad approach. Cluster sampling only works as a probabilistic technique when the groupings that are happened that happen for the cluster procedure do in fact lead to fair representative samples of the whole population. Given the risks associated with cluster sampling, why is it done? Well, there's some basic advantages, and most notably it's economic efficiency. Typically, cluster sampling is associated with forms of uh, real-world data collection. And since real-world data collection usually requires knocking on doors and driving around and so on, it's faster and less expensive to do cluster sampling than actually true, simple, random sampling. Of course, the disadvantage is this issue of cluster specification error, which we just illustrated earlier. Lastly, I should note that when it comes to cluster sampling, um, the example I showed here in the high-level description I provided is a bit trivial. In modern practice, cluster sampling is often blended and balanced with other advanced sampling procedures to undercut some of the risks that are associated with cluster sampling.